hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a caribbean dress we are going to be cutting the upper part of this first and the measurement i'm going to use i'm going to insert on the screen so this is the style okay this is the style so the upper part is i'm going to be using 15 inches for this so this is what I marked out right here and I'm going to need half an inch for joining the shoulder and lower part so right here I have my fabric folded in four I have four one two three four so my fabric has been folded in four the one below is going to be the back panel so I've added some inches for the for the zipper okay because this is going to have a zipper so first i'm going to mark the shoulder of seven inches right from here my shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven inches so i'm marking that here so right here i'm going to mark eight inches downwards And on this 8 inches point, I'm also going to mark 7 inches. And I'm going to connect the points. So from here, I'm going to mark the waistline, 16 inches, this is here, and I'm going to also connect this, okay right here I'm going to mark the neck width of 3 inches for the neckline, and the neck depth of inches and then I'm just going to connect this so right here I'll mark the shoulder slope of half an inch and I'm going to connect this down to the neck so for the back I'm going to mark a neck of one inch right so on the bust line I'm going to mark a quarter of the bust measurement my bust is 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 so I'll mark 8.5 here and then I'll mark 1.5 inches seam allowance yeah okay the waist measurement is 27 divided by 4 is 6.75 so i'll mark that here i'm going to mark one inch for that and then i'm going to mark 1.5 inches seam allowance Going to connect this to this and then I'm going to cover out the ample okay so now I can cut it out I'm going to cut from the back neckline first I'm going to cut out the neckline for the front and then I'm going to slip this into two so I'm going to set these two parts apart so here is the back here is the back panel ok 
okay and this is the front panel front panel of our dress so now we are going to cut the lower part and we are going to need to do some calculations okay so this is how the dress is going to be this is the upper part and this is the first layer and this is the middle layer and this is the third layer so you can decide however you want yours to be for we've cut out this part now what is left is the lower part for the lower part my the full length i want for this dress is full length is 60 inches so 60 inches minus 15 for the lower for the upper part that gives us 45 inches okay so this lower part now is going to be 45 inches that will be dividing to get the the lower part okay depending on how many layers you want me i want mine to be three layers and the three layers are not going to be equal in length so my first layer is going to be 10 inches long first layer is 10 inches long I want a length of 10 inches second layer I want is a length of 20 inches and my third layer I want a length of 15 inches totaling 45 inches that we have here so if you want all your layers to be equal all you have to do is to divide your 45 inches by the number of layers you want for instance, if you want yours to be 3 inches, you divide 3 layers, you divide 45 inches by 3, which would give you 15 inches. That is if you want all yours to be um, equal. But I don't want mine to be equal like that. So to cut our point, I'm going to be needing my hip measurement to cut it. My hip measurement is 34 inches, okay? So to this 34 inches, I'm going to add 10 inches for the first layer, 10 inches. That will give me 44 inches, okay, for the width of my outfit. So that will give me 44 inches. So this, so the first layer, therefore the first layer is going to be 44 inches in width, okay. So I'm going to get a width of 44 inches for the first layer. So the second layer, I'm going to get 44 inches. And then I'm going to plus 40 inches to that measurement. That would give me 84 inches. Therefore, my second layer is going to be 84 inches. Then to the third layer, I'm going to have 84 inches plus 40. That would give me... 124 inches so my third layer is going to be 124 inches okay so all of this i'm going to add one inch for seam allowance one inch for seam allowance i hope that is clear enough so for my first layer i'm going to have in a width of 45 inches for the first layer Second layer is going to be 85 inches and the third layer is going to be 125 inches. I hope that is clear enough. So the length of this one is going to be 11 inches. So it's supposed to be 10 inches but I'm going to have to add 1 inch for joining the upper and the lower part together. So I'm going to cut it out now. Alright, so I would like you to note that all these measurements I'm using are not standard, okay? They are not a standard measurement. So you are going to have to take your body measurement and modify it depending on how you want your dress to look, okay? So this is the second layer of my Caribbean dress. I am marking a length of 21 inches. 
like I said it's going to be 20 inches but I'm going to need half an inch to join the upper parts and the lower parts together okay that's why I'm cutting 21 inches so I'm marking 21 inches on my fabric and as you can see my fabric is folded in two so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out as well all right so what I also did was to cut out the third layer the exact same way I cut for the first and the middle layer okay I did the same to the last layer so here is my first layer from our calculation I added 10 inches to my hip measurement that is not a standard you can decide however you want yours you can decide to add 20 inches 30 inches to your hip measurement to get your desired Caribbean dress and from our calculation the length is 10 inches for the first layer I added about 1 inch for my seam allowance so this is the second layer my second layer is 20 inches long it's the longest of all of them this is my preference you can also do yours however you want it so as you can see here I have 21 inches I would use half an inch to join the upper part and half an inch for the lower part which will give me one inch okay and folded in two like this I have for the width of my second layer I used a width of 84 inches because I added 40 inches to the measurement I got for my first layer okay and for the third layer as well I added 40 inches to the measurement I got from my second layer so like I said all this measurement depends on you depend on the amount of fabric you have as well me I use 3 inches fabric to work on this project so if you have more fabric or less you can modify your measurements to suit the amount of fabric you have so for the third layer the length is 15 inches I added 2 inches extra as you can see here I have 17 I'll use half an inch to join the upper part and then I'm use 1.5 inches to hem the lower part okay so that is it for that and this is the upper part of our Caribbean dress so um, what I'm going to do is to put them together and sew it but because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm going to do that in my next video. So my next video will be the stitching of this Caribbean dress. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Like, subscribe and share my video until I see you in my next video. Bye.